is coming here. And today I wanted to share with you a very heartfelt sermon that I heard at church yesterday. So basically the coronavirus situation happening in the globe has been a very concerning matter to a lot of people. I really liked how yesterday at church um, when the pastor mentioned about how this thing had been causing a lot of anxiety, anger, and stress in a lot of people in some some like these three forms, there are a lot of options. I think it's good to I'll do the subtitles here later. A lot of us are not aware of it and we just go into a cycle of fear and when God wanted for us is the ultimate peace and joy and satisfaction that is found in Him. It might also be an attack uh, from for our faith in God as well. And we might ask, oh, why is God allowing coronavirus to happen in our city and a lot of places after events and events like after the social movement in Hong Kong, like it all seems very tough to a lot of Hong Kong citizens here in Hong Kong and I totally feel every one of you. And therefore, he mentioned about how we should uh, use God's wisdom to view this matter and, and also it came as a reflection that this would be a time for us to really slow down, like for Hong Kong people to slow down and to um, realize uh, God wanted us to spend more time with Him and uh, studying His words and continue to root in Him and to find peace in Him. Therefore, I think at this time, most importantly, like there might be a lot of people with different thoughts and also just different ways of trying to do protective measures and also um, just ways of how to be cleaner and all that like all we all have but it's okay like we i think the important message from the sermon is that we need to understand one another and love one another at this critical time because as hong kong citizens i think we have been suffered from a lot of um, stress lately already and just a lot of um not nice things happening so i think it's very important for us to continue to find our true identity in christ and to love everyone from that love that god has given us and to be kind to everyone and to care for the weak and the lowly at this time and to be the light and salt in hong kong yeah, I just really like how um, the pastor mentioned about um, this has caused a lot of anxiety and anger in us because we do not understand why God is allowing this uh, to happen. But we believe that as Christians, um, God has his greater plans and we might look back in 10 years later and thank coronavirus from happening because it has trained us to be tougher and has made us endure more and increase our persistence and by doing this we are becoming more mature as christians and yeah we we should always also keep a healthy body heart and soul because i think our life goal is to be joyful and happy in God and yeah I hope you understand the message and spend more time to rest in God's presence for this is when you will receive more peace and just a firm affirmation of Jesus victory over every disease every virus every danger and he is going to protect you from all danger is not the mask that is going to protect you is his power almighty power that is saving you from all danger and yeah i hope this message would be enlightened to you and 
thank you for tuning in and hope you can subscribe and like my videos if you've already done so and see you next time